Hello everyone, welcome to Slide Hunt. To visit my channel, type www.youtube.com slash slide hunt. In this video, we will learn how to swap the value of two variables using XOR operator. XOR indicate exclusive OR. In programming, exclusive OR is denoted by this symbol and it is called caret. Exclusive OR operate on two bits 0 and 1. Let's see the truth table for exclusive OR. First, we write all the possible combination between 0 and 1. And they are 00, 01, 10 and 11. Now we perform the exclusive OR operation. If A and B both are 0, then A exclusive OR B is 0. When A equal to 0 and B equal to 1, then the result is 1. If A equal to 1 and B equal to 0, then we get 1. If A and B both are 1, then we get 0. Now we learn how to perform swap operation. Here we take two numbers, 1 and 5. Now we convert these two numbers into binary. Binary equivalent of 1 is 0001 and binary equivalent of 5 is 0101. To swap these two numbers, we need three steps. In first step, we perform A exclusive of B and store the result to A. Now we perform the B twice exclusive or 1 exclusive or 1 is 0, 0 exclusive or 0 is 0, 0 exclusive or 1 is 1, 0 exclusive or 0 is 0. So we get 0, 1, 0, 0, which is equivalent to 4 in decimal. So now A hold 4 and B's value is same which is equal to 5. In step 2, we perform B equal to A exclusive or B. Here A equal to 4. In binary 0, 1, 0, 0, and b equal to 5 in binary 0, 1, 0, 1. now we perform b twice exclusive or and we get 0, 0, 0, 1, which is equal to 1 in decimal here we store the result to b so s value is unchanged and now b hold 1 in step 3, we perform A equal to A exclusive of B. Here A equal to 4 and B equal to 1. And after perform the exclusive OR operation, we get 0, 1, 0, 1, which is equal to 5 in decimal. So now A hold 5 and B hold 1. So the numbers are swapped. Let's see how to write the code. Here we write a code that will swap two numbers with the help of exclusive OR operator. So the first thing that we need to do, we need to declare two integer type variables. I'm gonna declare here int a and b. Next I'm going to ask user to enter the value of a. Print f, enter the value of a. To read the input number, we use here scanf function. scanf person d and then ampersand a. Next, I'm going to ask user for the value of b. Print f, enter the value of b, then scanf person d and then ampersand b. Next, I'm going to print the values before swap operation. Print f. Before swap, new line, a equal to person d, give some space, then b equal to person d. And here we refer a and b. Now we swap the values. For that we need to perform three operation. a equal to a exclusive of b, b equal to a exclusive of b and then a equal to a exclusive of b. Next we print the values after swap. So I am gonna copy it and paste here. I am going to write here after swap. Let's run the program. Compile and run. Enter the value of a. I am going to enter 1. 
enter the value of b i'm going to enter 5 before swap a equal to 1 b equal to 5 and after swap a equal to 5 and b equal to 1 so the values are swapped let's run it again enter the value of a i'm going to enter 13 enter the value of b i'm going to enter 25 before swap a equal to 13 b equal to 25 and after swap a equal to 25 and b equal to 13 this is it hope you understand if you like this video please share it and click on the like button on youtube thank you for watching subscribe to our channel for more videos get in touch with us visit us on youtube at youtube.com slash slide hunt join us on facebook at facebook.com slash slide hunt follow us on twitter and google plus